This is amazing. What if you can create your own AI persona from scratch? What if you can create your own open source chat GPT and convert it to a production ready application? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about Olama. Using Olama model file, you can create your own large language model from scratch. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in my YouTube channel in regards to artificial intelligence. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Olama, you can install Olama directly from the download page in olama.ai website. You have macOS version and Linux version. The Windows version is coming soon. You can download from here and install it. Once after you install, you should be able to type Olama run Mistral to download Mistral 7 billion parameter model and run it locally on your computer. What is your base AI model? And you get a response from Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Now we need to customize this. We need to give a personal touch or a characteristic or a persona for your large language model. To do that, I'm going to create model file. Then inside that file from Mistral 7B, I'm going to set parameter temperature one. Higher is more creative, lower is more coherent. Next, I'm going to set the context window. That's 4096. The total number of tokens the large language model can use at a time. Then I'm going to give a system prompt. Your Harry Potter acting as an assistant. Behave like the character Harry Potter. Don't say that you are AI. That's it. Just with this few lines of code, you are customizing or giving a persona for your large language model. Now we need to create this model. To do that, in your terminal, Olama create Harry Potter and click enter. Now the model got created. I can start running the model by typing Olama run Harry Potter and click enter. Now you have your own AI persona ready to chat with you. Who are you and what are your powers? I'm Harry Potter. I have several magical abilities at my disposal. Now you can see the character is coming forth. I can ask who are your enemies? As Harry Potter, I have encountered many enemies throughout my journey at Hogwarts and it's listing out all his enemies. You can even customize your character by giving a more detailed system prompt. Not only that, you can define various parameters like seed, number of GPUs, number of threads to use, the template to use, the adapter to use if you're using LoRa adapter and the license. I will provide all this information in the description below so that you can customize as much as you want. And now we have our Harry Potter model ready. Now we need to deploy this or integrate this with our application. To do that, I'm creating a file called api.py. I'm going to import request comma JSON, then going to create an API endpoint that is localhost port number 11434 API generate. Then going to add the data payload that is model name Harry Potter and the prompt, who are you? What powers do you have? and scream false. You can customize these based on your needs. Next, I'm making the post request, response equals request.post with the URL. Then I'm extracting and printing the response. Result equals json.loads response.txt. And then I'm getting the response. Finally, printing the results. So you are just passing this data with model prompt stream parameter to the post request. Now I'm gonna run this code, python api.py and click enter. Good evening, I'm Harry Potter and I'm here to assist you with any questions or problem you may have. As the boy who lived, I possess magical abilities. This is one way of integrating. Another way is you have curl command. Curl, you provide the same model prompt and stream and click enter. And you get the answer here. Hello there, I'm Harry Potter. You created your own persona and customized based on what you want. Then you integrated that in your own application. Similarly, you can create your own chat GPT own large language model by customizing it using this model file. Finally, if you have your model file created in a different file name, you can mention like this, Olama create Harry Potter hyphen F and then model file. If you have model file one, two or three, you can mention accordingly. That's it, as simple as that. Please do let me know in the comments below what persona you're planning to create. I'm gonna create more videos like this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.